Learning how to code is awesome, even if you're not trying to change careers. And let me give you five reasons why that is true. Hello, wonderful people. Let's talk about learning how to code and why it's so beneficial to anybody. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Masha and I create content around technology, women in tech, career and personal development. So make sure you subscribe to my channel not to miss out on any new content, check out my blog and other social media. If you're planning to get into a technical role, right, you already know that you need to learn how to code. So I'm not going to try to convince those people, but I want to talk about the benefits of learning how to code for those of us who are non-technical. Yes, I am included. I've never been in a technical role, in a technical position, and yet learning how to code has benefited me so much. I will tell you more about my personal story with coding and how it has benefited me at the end of the video, so stick around for that in case if you'd like to learn more. But for now, let's get into the benefits of learning how to code for people who are not planning to go into technical positions or not necessarily planning to go into them. Before we get into those five reasons, I want to clarify what I mean by learning how to code and that everybody should learn how to code. I don't mean that you should become, you know, a full-time developer or even a part-time developer. Although if you like it enough to, you know, pursue a career in technical roles, go for it. That's I'm all for it. And in fact, the industry needs the diversity of thought that comes from people who have changed careers, who have come from different backgrounds and experiences. But this video is about learning the basics of coding, learning how code works, how different programs work, and the logic that a lot of the different programming languages follow. And for you to be able to write a very simple program of your own so that you really have felt what it's like and really, you know, touched what it's like. But it can be very simple. It can be as simple as a, I don't know, a tip calculator or something like that so that you understand how coding works and how all of these devices that are around us, how their brains work. Now that I've clarified that, that it's just the basics, I don't mean that you should become a professional. Let's get into those five reasons and five benefits, really, of learning how to code for non-technical people. Benefit or reason number one is problem solving. Learning how to code and programming really activates the problem solver within you. Because yes, you might be solving problems in your day-to-day -day life all the time, but with programming, I really believe that it's all about problem solving. It's all about creative problem solving. You find different ways to solve the same problem all the time. And learning how to code and seeing how those problem solving algorithms work takes your problem solving skills to the next level. And yes, I've been saying problem solving so much, but I really believe that programming is all about that. It's about taking a problem and coming up with a solution and maybe even coming up with multiple different solutions because, you know, what's the better one? <laughs> Essentially, it activates that muscle in you and really works it which is wonderful for your personal life, for your professional life, for anything, right? Because you're able to solve problems better. Benefit or reason number two is understanding technology better. Like I've already said, we're surrounded by devices, right? This device is currently recording my voice and I've just double checked, it's continuing to record my voice. I had something failed me the other day, but devices are everywhere, right? And understanding how they work makes you feel much more comfortable around them and again it allows you to solve problems <laughs> much better because you understand their potential and their limitations and it also reduces the barrier of you know learning more about I don't know the circuits in this device or something like that other technical fields that you have no experience of but you now understand how you can learn more about them and you basically aren't as intimidated about them. So yeah, I think that's a wonderful thing because technology is only going to progress. We're only going to be surrounded by more devices and more devices and more devices. I mean, have you watched Black Mirror? <laughs> not that, I'm not saying that all of that is going to come true, but still, technology is not going anywhere and understanding it and feeling comfortable around it is going to be such a huge benefit. 
benefit or reason number three is that it boosts your resume. It boosts your resume to the next level. And to be honest, that is kind of, that is the reason why I started learning how to code to begin with. And I will talk about my story later on, but not only it gives you skills that other candidates in your field and your non-technical field might not have, but it also communicates things about you to your potential employer that you are curious, that you can stick through uh, learning a new skill, a new language that you don't necessarily need for your um, immediate job or immediate career path. It tells them about your thinking skills and problem solving skills. It tells them so much about you that makes you stand out as a candidate. So yes, they really, really improve your uh, CV or resume. They really boost it in front of potential employers. Benefit or reason number four is new career opportunities. When you're learning how to code as a non-technical person, you're connecting the dots between different industries, right? And so whether it is within your own company where you can find different pathways to apply those, you know, cross overlaying skills, or if you go outside of your com company, there's so many ways in which you can apply that crossover. That is an amazing crossover. And just like I already said before, it gives you that edge. It adds story to you. Your background with these technical skills create something new, a hybrid that is not necessarily available <laughs> out there. So opportunities will come your way because you're so unique. Having those technical skills and having this interest in technology will take you to new opportunities. It's crazy how new opportunities arise once you start going down a certain path. So I can't tell you exactly what will come your way, but I know the moment you start heading towards something, towards learning, acquiring new technical skills and learning about uh, this new field, new opportunities will come your way, which will be awesome and very exciting. And again, you will be so uniquely qualified for them. So yes, that is a wonderful benefit. And one more thing that I wanted to mention in for point number four is that when you understand how code works, you communicate with people who do have technical roles on a different level and they, you know, understand you on a different level. So you have this easier communication uh, with people who are in technical roles. So again, it can open you new opportunities within your company where your role, part of your role will be communicating with these technical teams or outside of your company. So again, there's just so much on that crossover um, that you can gain from learning how to code. And finally, benefit number five or reason to learn how to code number five is it develops your brain because you are thinking in a different type of logic. Yes, you have your human logic, but when you learn computer logic and you start getting into all these different ways to solve the same problem using different types of logic, you start developing new connections in your brain. I really think that it's the same way as with learning languages, you know, spoken languages, English, Spanish, Russian, uh, whatever language it may be, learning new languages creates new connections in your brain because it gives you tools on how you can express yourself. I see programming, learning how to program and learning how to code as the same type of, th that it has the same type of effect on your brain because it creates new connections within it. It creates new structures and it allows you to think in different ways and different dimensions. So it develops your brain, which is such an awesome benefit. And I don't know what could be better than that. All right, now that we've covered all of those five points, five points. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my own journey and my own experience with learning how to code because to be honest, I never had the intention of going into a technical role when learning how to code. My goal, and there's nothing wrong with those positions, right? They're awesome and we need a lot of people who are wonderful at it. And there are a lot of people that are wonderful for it, at it. It's just, you know, I really enjoyed marketing and I really enjoyed that path where I was going and I didn't see myself switching completely. So 
it was just, you know, about me, not about programming. But I never had that intention. My goal was to market myself. Uh, my goal was to make myself more employable, just like what we were talking about right now. When I graduated from my master's degree, I already have had some work experience and, uh, you know, my background was in marketing. And yes, I had a master's degree, but so did a lot of other candidates in Europe where I was at the time, I was in Spain when I graduated from my master's, you know, it would be all good. Um, there is definitely a lot of demand for entry-level marketing professionals. But one thing that I had was I'm Russian and I needed a work visa to, you know, work anywhere else but Russia. And I didn't want to go back to Russia. I, my goal was to either stay in Europe or go to the US. I needed to find a job that would sponsor me for a visa. That is where things get complicated because for a recent graduate, how do you stand out, right? You have so much competition and these companies don't see you as someone who is unique enough to sponsor for these things because a lot of the times they have to prove to the country that they have to hire you and not someone else who is already a citizen of the country, which is, you know, fair enough. I started learning how to code. I revisited something that I really enjoyed doing. When I was 11, uh, when I was 11, I coded in uh, Visual Basic and won second place in an all Russia competition at my level, of course, uh, for a project that I made. So I, it was a conscious decision to revisit something that I enjoyed and, and I was good at it. I had so much fun doing it and also to market my CV. And it was such an awesome decision because that is how I started this blog that has allowed me to um, have a full-time job traveling the world and doing what I love. But also, two weeks after I started my blog, I had my first interview with Google. Now, when I say first, I mean the first one that led to a job that actually happened. I've had other interviews with them before, didn't work out. I, it was my dream company and I was applying for half a year nonstop. But this one, led to an actual job and while this job was not for a developing position of course and what what could i have learned in two weeks um it was my my job was awesome i was working with youtube creators and i did some really really cool things worked on some awesome projects and got to meet incredible people i made sure that i mentioned my new passion for learning how to code and my new blog that i just launched in almost every single interview and while it wasn't the deciding factor in you know the decision to hire me eventually it was you know my actual skills and background and that the fact that i was really qualified i know that the fact that i was learning how to code and started my own blog really helped me stand out and again while it wasn't the deciding factor it definitely gave me some brownie points during those interviews so yeah, that door was opened and then now, look at me <laughs> right now, I am in Mexico City on a terrace talking to a camera and this is doing what I love and I don't know, it's just so amazing. So I'm a non-technical person who started learning how to code and still I work to perfect my skills when I have time. And it has opened so many incredible opportunities for me. So yes, I could not vouch more for it. And while I have not written a single line of code professionally, and while it's probably not something that I'm going to do professionally in my life, or at least for now, I don't visualize myself as a professional programmer. However, it has been such a wonderful journey because understanding technology and speaking the same language as a lot of the technical people opens so many doors for me and it will open so many doors for you. Just like I said, it will make you stand out as a candidate, as a non-technical candidate to the next level and it will bring you opportunities that you can't even imagine right now, but it will bring you opportunities. And in fact, this industry needs people like us, non-technical people who understand code, who either go into code professionally or who understand how technology works and continue being involved in the conversation about 
about it because it's all about problem solving, right? Technology is solving problems that, that we have in the world and the diversity of thought that comes with the non-technical background is incredible and it's something that this industry really needs. All right, so if I've managed to convince you, I have a video on what programming language you should start with, which I will leave a link to in the description and also up here if you're watching this on YouTube. That will be a great place to start if you're curious. I also have a link in that video, uh, in the description of that video, I have a link to uh, my list of coding resources that you can use. Uh, some of them are free, some of them are paid, but basically it's a humongous collection of different coding resources where you can learn how to code. So yeah, head over there and enjoy. It's a fun little journey. And again, you don't have to become a professional developer. Just do what feels fun and explore. It's a wonderful, wonderful world to explore. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. And if you have anything else that you'd like to add to that list of five things, five things, that's 10, five. <laughs> like this video if you've enjoyed it, share it with a friend. And of course, let's be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.